Alright, so we're going off today. Police behind me. Been moved out there. Oh, we got a fish actually. Oh, that'll be clutch there, mate. Yeah, fish on. That's a bite, that's a bite. Fish on. You currently join me in the drive through at McDonald's in Clandidno. I'm going to fish Clandidno. Clandidno? 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 However you want to pronounce it. I'm going to fish Clandidno Wall for a couple hours. Um, it's been fishing really poor around here lately, but I've got to stay local, even though I know Hollyhead and Anglesey is fishing well, because. I'm going to smash window. Um, basically, don't um, argue with trees in the road and deep snow and ice while you're up the country lines in the middle of nowhere because, uh, yeah, they win. So I'm going to get me a Big Mac burger now, probably a large strawberry milkshake and whatnot. And uh, we're going to fish Clandon No Walk because it's literally just around the corner from me because I can't really take the car anywhere, truthfully. Probably shouldn't even be taking it there, but I'm on my own. It's only around the corner. It's booked in to be fixed Tuesday. Then I can get back on the island and back onto some proper fishing, congas, huss and all that stuff. But um, I don't know what to think about Clandon No Wall. Right, I've got to go because it's tied to order my Big Mac. See you in a bit. Proper fisherman's food. If you don't put your chips in there, it don't count. You've got to have your chips in there. And the other thing you've got to do is get these horrible things off. They're absolutely vile. It's not littering because the animals will eat them. I'm adding to the environment. <laughs> it's not really a burger, is it? Look at that. It is absolute crap, isn't it? But when you're fishing and you're in a rush and you can't be asked waiting for tea, that is worth its weight in gold. But yeah, back the window. Don't argue with trees and snow. Um, I slid for about 20 metres, and it? The tree, there's nothing I can do, but it is what it is. So yeah, oh, dropped, dropped a chip on the seat. Waste not, what not. <laughs> so um, yeah, fat boy here is going to smash this Big Mac and chips. Rally over to London now. Uh, we've got some ragworm, which has been in the, free in the freezer, in the fridge for about six days but they're still moving a bit even though i smell a bit we've got some log and some squid so let's get there here now there's another fisherman up there look at this one with a ticket on when you've got a car like that you ain't gonna be bothered about the ticket though are you <laughs> it's parking the disabled bay without anything <laughs> right let's have a look over looking out here not looking too bad worth a few trucks down there right i've just been to see the two lads fishing up there uh, first thing he said is, go and keep it down. <laughs> um, I said the last time I've fished here, I've had nothing. And I've fished here a couple of times now and only had one little rockling. I don't know what to say. Don't know whether to go elsewhere. I could fish here, but... I've got, I've got about two hours to lie tide and I can't drive far because I've got a cracked window. I'm just thinking. I don't know, I'm stuck. I'm really stuck. Right, I'm gonna have to have a think for a few minutes and make a plan. I just wanna get a fish out tonight. Mmm, don't know what to do, people. I don't know what to do. It's busy as hell here as well. There's people walking past everywhere, cars everywhere. I think I'm gonna head to Colwyn Bay and give it a go there. Sod it, let's try a wild card. Let's go somewhere I ain't fish for about a year. Throw a spanner in the works. I'm just here now, North Shore. And there's quite a few anglers here. There's still a couple hours before I, and if I look him um, over there, there's a bit of space there. There's quite a few anglers along there. Surely they're here for a reason, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I've got Colwyn Bay in my head. To be honest, people, I'm not going to lie. Somebody else just pulled behind me getting fish and stuff out. It's Friday night, it is. Uh, it's half five on a Friday night and town's looking pretty busy so I was tempted just to drop the car off and have a night round town <laughs> but uh, we need to make your fishing video um, Some, like I said there's a dude behind now um, I'm really stuck I'm really really stuck I think we might hit this beach you know um, mm, uh, rr, rr, totally stuck totally and utterly stuck you know totally stuck there's a lot of people on this beach fishing. And surely they're here for a reason, do you know what I mean? Um, pack. <laughs> I'm so stuck, I'm running out of time. Don't know. Well, that's the decision made. Have you noticed what's not in the back, people? I was meant to be fishing off land on no wall. I haven't got a tripod. 
God damn! Right, so the first venue, didn't fancy it. <laughs> um, this one, I thought I'd fish this because uh, there's people about, which means normally a good sign. No tripod. Damn, damn, damn. Right, let's go and have a quick pint and we'll uh, we'll assess the situation. You know what my fishing videos are like, people. Um, you just get the trips as they film with me. I could have started this video in 20 minutes time. Oh, I've just turned up here with fishing. Nah, I'll show you exactly how it is. We're gonna have a quick pint of Stella somewhere as well, eh? Sod it. <laughs> let's go. This looks all right, doesn't it? Flashing lights, gamblers, busy. And here's me rocking up in my fishing gear with a smashed up cart. <laughs> it's just how we roll. Right, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> I'll catch you a fish tonight, people, trust me. I'm not going home until I've caught a fish. That, ah, you have my word. Oh, bloody old tree down again. I've got to watch that. Oh, here we go, look. My speciality then. <laughs> right, let's gonna have a quick beer, eh? Sod it. Well, this is nice. Got my own little room. Got a gambler. Shall we go in there? Shall we have a fiver in there? See if we can win anything. I promise you, people. We will be doing some fishing, okay, so stay with me. But you know what my adventures are like. My videos are totally different to anything else, okay? <laughs> right, let's have a dabble then. If I win anything over 40 quid, I'm having a night round town. If you like my crazy fishing adventures that could lead us to anywhere, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's all free. Oh, yeah, and by the way, we do catch fish in this video, so stay with me. Robbed. Robbed of a fiver. Right, let's finish this pint. Get out of here. I'll tell you what, people. There's worse places to sit and have a pint, aren't there? I should be down there fishing now, all along there. And instead, I'm here drinking this. <laughs> Which one would you rather be? Comment below. <laughs> right then, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, people. Ignore all them trees. We're close there. Wee. Right, and then let's get ourselves to Colwyn Bay or Rose on Sea. It's not the best image, is it? Pulling out of a pub car park from a smash window. But I've only had one pint and I ain't gonna have no more. But yeah, let's go do it. See you at the back. Right, so we just pulled up here. Oh, we've got like 20 minutes to lie tied, in all fairness. I've completely balls this off. But you know me. <laughs> I ain't asked about the fishing as much as about getting out. Uh, I'm just gonna see if this is fishable. So we take a white or something now. Is there any rocks in view or what? Or it's still rising. Ah, there's a little gap here. So if we get something, we could land it. That'll pull it up over them rocks anyway. Still rising. Oh no, it's not. Ah, uh, no, it's not rising, is it? There's not much left. But I'll jump over there and get something if I get something anyway. So we're going to unload the cart. Actually, I'll drive it down here. Actually, sod it. Drive it down here. Um. I feel as if I've completely balls this trip up, you know. But I want to fish for you, and I'm going to give it my all. So we get the rods out, we lean up against this wall, see if we can get something here. This is the bait we got. We've got a bit of squid, we've got some black lug in there, and these have got to be thrown today. I've been in the fridge for about five or six days, these rag. They're not the best. First rod, this is an old rig, hence the um, the state of it. <laughs> I just couldn't be arsed changing it because I'm limited. Got a big squid bait on, on a pulley. This little pulley, and that's going to be the left rod. The right rod yeah, is still set up from last time, so we'll get some bait on there soon. But um, yeah, we literally really push for time, and that's because I've messed about at two different venues, forgot the tripod, sat chatting, and um, yeah, <laughs> ended up in the pub. But I want to get a fish from here. Now, it don't even look that deep, to be fair, because it's only a small tide. It normally covers all this. So I'm out of time. Um, it's a small tide. And yeah, but sometimes you just got to land it on that fish's nose, don't you? So maybe this could be one of them sessions where everything looks crap, you don't expect a fish, then all of a sudden, wallop, the rod was over. Right, let's get the rods out. That's so shallow. I can see the line going pretty much to where the lead landed. I reckon I'm in about two foot of water. Oh well. <laughs> so the thing that don't help here is it's an absolute tiny tide. Um, around here, um, they go a lot bigger. Normally covers this rock and comes up the wall. Um, there's just, there's not really a big tide, put it that way. Where I'm fishing now in a couple of foot of water, it'll probably be six, eight foot of water on the right tide, so. 
Yeah, it's bad angling all round by me. Bad angling being late. Bad angling having a McDonald's. Bad angling going to the pub. Bad angling leaving the deep spot. Bad angling fishing the shallow spot. Bad angling turning up late. But it's real angling, that's what it is. Oh well. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to label this video? I'm going to call it How Not To Fish. <laughs> How Not To Fish with Gamekeeper John. The first mark I was at was already five times deeper on low than this is now. And then I wasted time cocking around. It's right though, there aren't many other YouTube videos like these, is there? definitely different and if that's a good or a bad thing you let me know <laughs> here's a question for you people when the water's on high water how long does it stay on high water for before it starts dropping um, it's a question i've had with mates in the past and none of us really know the answer how long does it stay up for lads <laughs> the tide high tide <laughs> was, um, there was a match on the other day um, it was here somewhere literally on this beach a couple of days ago on low water the match was on and I had to walk down with my daughter spoke to a few of the guys fishing um, it was just a couple of whiting that won it there's people blanking like really good anglers that's my excuse now yeah <laughs> but um, there's people blanking on the match like I think the winner well as far as on when I was there there was about an hour left I think the winner had about three or four white and he had like just under a metre or something I was in like three or four hours fishing. So poor fishing around here at the moment, but at least we're having a go, yeah? At least we're having a go. And that's all that matters sometimes, eh? Tempted to put the stuff back in the car super quick and go to land Dudno in the deep a bit. Very tempted. just the tides dropping on push for time you say i think i'm gonna go back to land on now <laughs> oh, all the, the there's all road diversions and traffic lights all the way though nah. oh, i left my phone in the car anyway i ain't got a clue no <laughs> what a sausage i've left my phone in the car checking my pockets i'm filming on it <laughs> I think that point's gone to my head. So, as the cover of darkness comes over Colwyn Bay, I'm thinking, should I stick it out here, or should I do what I think's right and go back to land No. Oh, it's an odd decision with the tide dropping and not much fishing time left. What should we do? Sod it. I'm going back to land No, even if I only have half hours fishing. I've just got a feeling that's going to do a fish, whether it's a little mini species or a white or something. That's where I'm going. See you in a bit. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if I'm mad or what. Uh, I've only been here 15 minutes. Just one feeling it. So I'm going to get back up to Glad Dud now. Um, like I say, I just want a fish. Don't go. It's a little rockling, little micro species. Just want to get a fish. Want to get a fish, mofo. Um, so yeah. By the time we get to Clan Dudno, the water will already be dropping. Uh, we should get a bit of fishing in. We might even put a little, um, some little tiny hooks on, try and get some. I'm, I'm game, like. You know, you're just not feeling it. The tide's too small. It's about two foot deep, about 100 yards out. I can probably stand up there. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get to Clan Dudno. Catch you later. Well, I've just got back here. Uh, I've got to be quiet. There's a, about 20 metres behind me. I think there's a gentleman not in a very good place. And there's a couple of police cars here, and uh, there's police everywhere. So, out of respect for what's going on, I'm going to put the camera on the tripod, and I'm going to be quiet and just carry on doing my stuff because uh, I don't think he's in a good place. And I've been there myself, and from what I can hear, it's a very similar situation. So, I'm just going to put the camera on the tripod, and I'm going to crack on. And what you see is what you see, people. Okay? Look at that rod tip behind me. This is why you should keep your eye on your rod at all times. I missed a cracker of a bite here. And this, people, is how not to fish. While well, setting up, I missed another bite again. What a nuddy. <laughs> 
looking back at this footage now, it's kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, I missed another bite. <laughs> I might take up golf because I'm obviously crap at this sea fishing malarkey. Brace yourself, people. Here it goes again. <laughs> oh, I'm looking back at this footage now, and I'm thinking, what an absolute idiot. I had no idea this was going on. No idea at all. I feel bad now. <laughs> on the other rod, I was fishing these little sabiki tight rigs with just little bits of worm. And, oh yeah, I finally noticed that bite. Oh, bite on. And just as I'm about to hit into this massive fish that could have been a fish of a lifetime, the parking attendant comes and moves me on. Yeah, you blue budge. You blue budge? Yeah, no, I can move it. I've just pulled up. Oh. If you can't please. Yeah, where do you want me to pull it over there, yeah? Yeah, just stick it in there. Um, yeah. The machine's not working, so... I thought it was on. I've literally... Can I just get that rod come on a bike? Give me two minutes. <laughs> quick. Yeah. I didn't think it, there was a serpent time on it, but it is a, not now. Uh, 24-7 disabled bays, mate. Ah, sorry, buddy. Yeah, I bay. thought it was a serpent. Yeah, I'll move it within a couple of minutes, pal, yeah? As soon as... Yeah. I'll just... Yeah, I'll set that. Forget the fish. I don't want to take it. <laughs> <laughs> well what can you do eh finally noticed the bite and then I've had to move uh, I am parked in a disabled bay but the thing is it's like 8 o'clock at night the disabled bay will hold about 50 cars it's about I don't know it's about 100 metre long and I was the only car in there and I was only staying for an hour but he thought it was in his right to come over and tell me to move <laughs> which it was I suppose that's his job it is what it is but yeah I could have missed the fish of a lifetime then. It could have been a 22 foot long bass or a 48 pound cod. Who knows? <laughs> right, it's all going off today. Police behind me. Been moved out there. Oh, we've got a fish actually. Oh, I'll let me clutch that tonight. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. I don't know what it is yet, but it's a fish on. Foul looked through the belly, but I'm still counting it. <laughs> So fish on anyway. Oh, it's gonna jump. It's not a bad start, is it? It's definitely worth the move. I'm gonna be quick because there's police traffic wardens and everything here. <laughs> nice fish though. It's a good job I only had one pint on it. <laughs> I parked up here with a smash window screen with two police cars behind me. <laughs> Don't think that's in the window screen yet though. Which is good. <laughs> right, let's get fishing. It's carnage, this is. Ah. On the second rod, I don't know if I showed you, just put some of these, um, the little, like, I think they're sudo sabukis? Zabikis? I don't know. They've just got little bits of rag and um, lug on. It's basically just to see what's down there. Um, see if there's anything about. Who knows? We can have a good end to the session. See what we're up against today. I haven't even put my lights on the rods because I was rushed, so I bet you can't really see the bites, but um, that was a good bite, that whiting give, to be fair. Bite on the left as well, bite on both rods. Ah! It's all going off. It's all going off, baby. Something on here, I think. What have we got on here? The other rod's going as well. It's a perfect little live bait, that. Perfect little live bait. Don't want it. He's gonna go. He's gonna go. Put the mouth on them little whiting. 
<laughs> All right. Perfect little white in that. You know, that's the lads who was here earlier. Um, they left. I think they left at the best time. But yeah. Cracking little white in. Fish on, I think. Yeah, fish on. Oh no, he's come off. Oh no, he's on. Another white in. Be nice if one of these was a little codling or a little bass in a bit, wouldn't it? But for now, just white in. We'll keep cracking on. Can't keep two rods in the water. Definitely the right choice coming back here anyway. So my bladder's going to burst in a minute though. I need these coppers to go so I can do a piss. <laughs> They're everywhere. Here's another one now playing uh, undercover. That's a bite, that's a bite. Fish on. Got any of these around? Nice to have something different than a white in, but I ain't complaining from thinking I wasn't going to get a bite to literally can't keep two rods in the water. So let's get it back in and keep going. Plus, I can't leave yet because I've got a bus window screen at the police there. <laughs> so I've got to stay. <laughs> See you in a bit. This is what I'm fishing on the uh, two up flapper. Obviously, my own flappers. I'm just using all my bits of bait up, bits of worm, bits of squid. I'm just chucking a bit of everything on, really. And, uh, it's kicking ass. <laughs> Fish on. I don't mind catching them all night, you know. The mouth on them. Cracking live baits. And another one. Still got my bit of rag in his mouth, look. Nice fish, don't they? They all count. So awkward here because this guy who's been a bit suicidal I can talk about it because nobody knows who he is um, he's going through everything I went through I've been listening and um, love of his life's left him after X amount of years he can't deal with it right? you know I feel as if I need to go and talk to him because 
I've been down for a couple of months, like close to the end myself, and that's like really, really bad, really bad. And he's in that situation I was at a couple of months ago. And although the police are with him now and he's on the phone to somebody, I feel as if I should just go over and let him know that things can improve, you know, it's not the end. Because I was, I didn't think there was any way out. To be honest, I didn't think there was a chance that I could like start moving on and stuff. And like, I don't know, two, two and a half months later there is. Things are like getting better. I'm not, I'm not good, but like things are falling into place a bit more. But as if I need to go and give him a cuddle, man, and tell him everything will be all right and just like be strong, stay strong. He's with the police and that now, so. It's one of them, isn't it? Poor dude, man. Poor dude. I feel everything he's going through. I'm having a few, yeah? <laughs> I'm okay with myself, yeah. I'm like, it's like, it's like, I was probably worse. I nearly went a few times, but it's kind of crap. You got some support and stuff in place? I don't know, I don't know. I went to the doctors, they tried to put me on tablets and stuff, but I didn't do the tablets. I just wanted to do my own thing, really. I'm alright now. Oh, really? Yeah. Are no, well, I was bad January was in the first half of February, but I could keep getting better. I've been seeing myself fixing Thai meals, isn't it? Sorry, it's not going. Yeah, Thai makes it get better. Yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a tough time. I'll probably yeah. pack up now and have a chat with him, to be honest. Go and see him for a bit. Yeah. Go and have half now with him. Right, no worries. Hope he's okay, yeah? Cheers. Thank you. All right, I'm going to pack this up now. Just had a chat to the female officer there. Um, the guy, forget that bike, the guy's in a bad place. The police are going now, so I'm going to pack up. I've been for everything he's going through. I'm going to go and have a chat with him for half hour. See you in a bit. Well, I don't know where you'd start with that. Um, obviously it's none of my business to say stuff about somebody else but somebody's gone for something very similar uh, 55 this gentleman was I was listening while the police was talking um, and I went over um, said listen I've been for the same if you want to chat come over and the female officer um, it was quite nice actually <laughs> um, Asked me if I wanted any support because I've told her what I've been feeling like the last few months because we can put you for support and that. And I was like, I'm all right. Anyway, the police went. And, uh, the first thing I'd done was give the guy a cuddle. I just chatted with him for about half an hour. He's in a really bad place. Really bad. He's like I was at the start of January. Uh, I'm getting my phone number. He's got a camper van here now. And uh, I said, I'll come back over fishing on tomorrow's ice hide. And I'll come and have a couple hours with him, have a chat. Um, He's exactly how I was. Very similar situation, albeit he's 56 or something, quite a bit older. Um, same situation, same thing, having the same thoughts, doing the same stuff I was doing, and uh, it's not good. Um, but yeah, that's the police again just gone past. I think they're checking on him because he's not good. But uh, yeah. As I cut the camera off then, we've had bites on both rides, but as I said, I'm going to talk to that guy. That This was more than the fishing then, so forget the bites, forget the fish that I caught. This is um, about him, so I'll probably come and see him. Well, I'm definitely coming to see him tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be filming or not, but anyway, that was an interesting session, people. Back to how it was. Um, come to the first mark, decided to leave. Ended up with a McDonald's. Went and had a pint. Lost a fiver in the gambler. Went to Colwyn Bay, chucked in two foot of water. Ended up coming back, had to do for a road diversion, then got moved on by the ticket man because he was parked in the disabled bay, even though the disabled bay is about 100 metres long and there was no other cars in it. He still moved me on the bay. Um, listening to that conversation with the police and him brought a lot of stuff back and caught a few fish and then I had a good chat with him. Um, but my only thing about tonight is just making sure that guy's all right the, the session i want to say it's put a dampener on the session because that's definitely the wrong word definitely the wrong word it's um ez and what's happening with that gentleman is much more important than everything else you've seen in this video and i just hope he's all right 
and he's from the Midlands. He's li well, he's from um, Dudley, where I'm from as well. And he's literally, even though we're 130 mile away, he's from my own town. <sighs> right, that's it, people. I'm out of here. Catch you in the next one.